don't belong around this side of town, partner. But I hear you've come over here to watch me try on some clothes. Well, I can give you what you want. Welcome to my Ivy Park Rodeo Hall. Pervert. Hey, hi, hello YouTube, it's your boy Debbie Dubs, and we are back with another video. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, partner, we got a try on haul. Because Beyonce done did it again. She done dropped another Ivy Park line. After Icy Park, she did give us, you know, the traffic cone collection, the orange flex park, the swimming and all of that. But I, ain't, I wasn't really into that. I'm already big. I'm not trying to look like a big pumpkin, big highlighter. I didn't want to do all that. So I didn't get nothing from that collection. But this rodeo, ye doggy. I had to hop on. I had to hop on. I'm gonna keep this intro real short because I know y'all don't care about nothing but the clothes. I just want to say this one is all about the celebration of the black cowboy, which has been forgotten throughout history. There have been black cowboys. There have been other people of color cowboys, and Beyonce wanted to celebrate that with this collection. Beyonce wanted to use old-fashioned and old-style denim to celebrate the black cowboy. So of course we got the denim patterns. We have the cow print, which is like a lavender and brown color mixed together in this crazy cow print. I didn't get anything with cow print. We got a lavender color, we have peach, and then we have this really nice deep blue. It's so sick. I don't wanna keep y'all waiting. I have about 16, 17 items total. I'm gonna start with the first thing. I'm gonna start with the peach. this Ivy Park unisex crew neck and then I have the Terry sweats that match with it as well I also have the fanny pack I'm gonna talk about each item separately and then I'm gonna put it on and show y'all what it looks like so of course with Ivy Park by now y'all know that this overlapping crossing collar is like a very like a very common thing when it comes to Ivy Park like I feel like all the collars do this and I love it because it's so unique and so cool of course you have the three stripes going down both sides. Ivy Park on this sleeve, Adidas on this sleeve. I also noticed that you have like this Ivy Park lining on the inside of the collar. I feel like each drop she changes the pants to a different material. It is terry cloth, I think that's what they called it. Terry knit something, I don't know. But you know, look how sick it is. Shut up. This is how nice it is. You have these two lines going down the middle of the pant leg. I really like it because the other ones don't have it. You also have the three stripes, of course, going down the sides. On the back, you get two butt pockets. She, 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 mm, mm. she usually gives you just one. And then obviously, I had to get an accessory to match the outfit. I got this crossbody bag or fanny pack, whatever you want to call it. It has this strap, this right here, but it also has this. And it has these like, this little, I don't know, it reminds me of like a bungee type of thing. I don't know how to use this part. You have this peach color right here with this light orange to accent it. And then you have the Ivy Park and big stitching. You have this little pouch right here. And then you also have this bigger one. It's pretty big. I was not expecting it to be this big. All right, so I got the outfit on. I like it. I love this color. It's so comfy. Like, really comfy. This is one of those fits that you wear in like the airport, that way you look comfortable but you still look fly. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is definitely an airport fit. Every outfit that y'all see, I want y'all to rate it. Like, rate it from zero to 10. Like, what y'all like, what y'all don't like, what you think should change, like what size you think I should have gotten. This, remember, is a large, extra large. And then this is just the fanny pack. Come around the knees, pop, pop the. What you doing over in these parts, partner? Yeah, I could fall asleep in this. These are as soft as like PJs. I love them. All right, for this next fit, I got the same concept, same thing, but I just tweaked a little bit. I did get this lavender outfit as well, but there are some changes. For the pants, of course, I got the Terry sweatpants, which are the same as these that I have on. But where I did tweak it was the top. 
Instead of doing another sweatshirt, I actually decided to get the shrug. So it's like a crop top kind of hoodie. I'm excited because I tried to get this in the, what was it called, the Mesa color, that brown. This lavender color is just so sick in general. Like it's so pretty. You have the drawstrings, which I feel like they, they're different. Like usually in the past it's just like rope, but these are like, I don't know, like these are more quality drawstring in my opinion. You also have these three Adidas stripes around the collar of the hood, which is so sick. I really like that. You have Ivy Park on the chest, which the other hoodies, like the full on hoodies, don't have this. She, th we paying too much money for you to not put the brand right in the middle for us to see. Like this does not have Ivy Park on the chest. You don't see it nowhere. I paid too much money to not pe let people know that there's Ivy Park. People need to see that there's Ivy Park. So with the shrug, she she said, we're gonna let people know there's Ivy Park. On the sleeve, you actually have this line going across it and you have that same line going in the back. Can y'all see this? The first accessory that I got to go with this outfit is the Ivy Park crossbody in the same color. And once again, you have the regular strap and then you have this cool thing. And I haven't seen anybody use this yet. Like I haven't, I don't know how I would, like I don't know, like I don't know what the point of this mechanism is. Like I don't, I don't know and I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. I ain't seen anybody else use it yet. I had to get the do-rag, I didn't even open it yet, but I'ma put it on when I put on this outfit. It's about to be so sick, so don't go nowhere. Also, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but you need to follow me on my social medias because I'ma give y'all all these looks. Now, I don't mean to be rude, but this don't feel protective for my hair. Don't you dare wear this to sleep. This is not one of them do-rags you wear to sleep, I don't think. I don't know. I just feel my follicles crunching out by, <laughs> by the minute, Jesus. Y'all ready to see the full fit? Cause I feel like it's gonna look good. Now, I can't look at the viewfinder, but I got a mirror right here and it looked like I'm a little bit hold on this part is a little weird like when you do that it, it, like the shaping of it is a, is a tad weird fabric is so soft like I feel like I'm barely wearing anything like it's not heavy it's actually really light like I don't feel like I'm wearing clothes before we move on to the next outfit I just wanted to do the last accessory that I have it's just the three pack socks comes with the peach comes with the lavender and then it comes with this amazing blue color. So I wanna start each outfit with like the same basis of every outfit, which are the Terry sweatpants, which of course are in this amazing blue color. I don't even know like what color you would call this. Like I said deep blue earlier, but it's like a, I don't know. Like it's, it's just such a nice blue color. It's so powerful looking, you know, you feel me? Like it's, it's power. I got this in an extra large, just like the other two. So let me show y'all what I got to go with these pants. All right, so for tops, I got this Ivy Park base layer shirt. Um, it's in a size extra large and it fits very snug. Like I feel like this is meant to be worn as almost like an undershirt or just like Under Armour, very, very nice but stretchy and you can work out in it. So on this, you have three Adidas stripes only going down one side. For those who watched my original Ivy Park hauls, y'all know the three things that Beyonce focused on during her Ivy Park collection that she still focuses on kind of, but it's getting to be less and less with one of these things. You remember? Do you remember? If you remember, type it in the comments. She focused on customization, oversization, and asymmetricalization, and I feel like only having the three stripes on one side is add some spice, some little bit of asymmetricalization in there. And then this is like a, almost like rubber, the lines. It's not the same material. Again, you have the Ivy part along the collar in the back. Like putting this on, it felt super restricted. And yes, it's tight, but it's not like too tight to where I would feel uncomfortable wearing it. I could wear this as a workout shirt, which I feel like is what I would get the most use out of. So the next top that I have is the Ivy Park crop top in this nice blue color. You got the three stripes on this side, three stripes on this side, overlapping collar. Y'all know how I feel about the overlap collar. And that's pretty much it. I hate that she took off Ivy Park right here. This one got Ivy Park nowhere, do it. 
Oh, it's on the back. So yeah, I'm gonna try this on as well. I think I'm gonna try it on like over the base layer shirt just to see how that looks. Like I'm gonna try it on without it so you can see some skin, some stretch mark, but I'm also try it with the base layer shirt on. These are the first outfits that I'm gonna wear the sneakers with. So before I put these outfits on, I do wanna show y'all the sneakers. And they are the Ivy Park Super Sleeks. Now these came in two colorways. There's one where the theme is more peach colored, but I opted for the blue color. As you can see, you got a thick, thick sole. She loved giving you a thick sole. You got this black line that goes around the entire shoe and you have Ivy Park here. Um, you have the blue Adidas stripe. And this is actually the only accent of blue that you have on here. So you can wear these with a lot of different colors. It doesn't have to be blue. On the back, you have this bungee kind of stringed loop. You get the tag, of course. What else is there? I mean, that's you, you see what they look like. I don't really gotta say too much. You see what they look like. Let's put them on though. And they're tight, but they're not too tight. And they're only tight because they made these in women's shoes and the highest size you could go in women's was a size 14, which translates to a men's 12, I believe, or maybe 12 and a half. I wear 13 to men, so it is a size smaller than what I normally wear, but it's not uncomfortable. Like, I could wear these all day and be fine. They don't hurt at all. These are good. Usually I would be like, that is so much blue going on. I got some blue going on. Where's that inspiration coming from? I don't know. I like a little edge and a little pop in my hair, so I wanted to add something different, especially for the Teen Vogue party. The fact that these two blues are the same and then this is a little bit darker, like there's a, some contrast. Then you have the darker stripes over here the darker stripes that run all the way down over here. Let me know what you think. And remember, follow me on Instagram. I'm posting, I'm trying to get active, I'm trying to grow. Now this really. You think you seem good, partner? You ain't seen nothing yet. This is one of my favorite pieces and I'm not lying. Dead ass, this is one of my favorite pieces from Ivy Park. Ever. Oh, it's on here. They call it glory blue. Like that's the color. I did not know that's what they were calling it. This is the Ivy Park active jacket in glory blue. So it's a jacket. It has this quarter zip. You have this big pouch in here. You know, I love a good pouch for babies in there. You have a mesh layering on the inside. You have a hood, of course, with drawstring so you can tighten it or loosen it to your liking. And at the end of the sleeve on the cuff, it has this ribbed kind of stretchy material. See, oh my God, it looks so good. I love it. it throwback windbreaker vibes. Like that's what I get from it. Like I can see like, I don't know, this is some of your gym coach will wear. Like he's giving me gym coach vibes, trainer. One thing I didn't talk about, I did talk about like the stretchy here, but they have the same concept down here. So if you want, cause you can tighten it and loosen it. If you want, you can definitely wear this cropped if you want to. Like I have it literally up here. It's right here, it's above my chest, but when you flap it down, it's cropped, which I'm just now discovering, like I didn't do that before. But if you pull it down, like this is my favorite piece. This is so sick. I like how it's tight, like it's fitted, but there's so much extra room that it hides the ribbed part and it just flaps down nicely. It's actually very breathable, even with the two layers I have on under. I got the base layer shirt on and the crop top. So. All right, let me know what y'all think. My mom got the bra and the leggings. I don't know if it's gonna make it in this video. I might show it, I might not. She might show herself, she may not. Who knows, I'm recording this in advance, so we'll see if mom makes it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like my mom did make an appearance. She is here in my video wearing Ivy Park Rodeo. Now up top, she is wearing the Ivy Park medium support cut out bra and the tights. Both of these are in a size medium and she got them in the glory blue color. I don't know why she act like she couldn't just come up here and talk herself, but she act like she was afraid, so I'm doing it for her. So hi, this is voice over Debbie Dubs talking, coming at you live. Everything fits perfect for her. She liked the outfit. She wore it on vacation recently. The only problem she had was that in the back, it was a little loose on the tights. Like you see where she starts to tug, that she has a little bit of extra room there, but it's not like too bad to where she can't wear it. But yeah, this is my mom sporting Ivy Park. Give it up for my mom in the comments, y'all. Go ahead, 
like this video for my mom, go ahead. All right, so it's time to move on to the final collection. Before I get into the denim, which we all know is what's coming, I just want to talk about this Ivy Park Rodeo t-shirt. Now, to be honest, I'm not a fan of like t-shirts. Like every drop when she gives us t-shirts, I don't get them. Like for some reason, I'm just not a fan of shirts, but I had to get it because of this rodeo. Like, I don't know what it is, but just seeing this rodeo, this word rodeo in cursive, and then it's saying, this ain't my first under like this ain't my first rodeo homie like I had to get it It's not even white. It's kind of like a off-whitish Kind of color. It's really pretty so I'm happy that I got it got this in an extra large So it fits kind of true to size which I was shocked I thought it was gonna be really big But this actually fits me nicely not too big not too little also before I put it on I just want to talk about this again. It's real nice ain't it? I just wanna say, Beyonce, if you drop this for every collection you drop from now on, I'm in trouble. Cause I'm getting this in all colors. All right, so this is the shirt. Real plain, but I like it. Like, I don't know, it just feels nice. It looks nice. I wonder if this is her handwriting. Like, I wonder if she wrote this and then they turned it into a design and then stitched it on all the shirts. That would be sick. Probably not what happened, but it would be sick. So the first thing that I wanna show y'all in the denim collection is the Ivy Park denim monogram button down shirt. Now, she did a lot of denim. Like it was a lot of denim from chaps to crop jackets to regular jackets to monogram jackets. And I feel like if you really wanna get your money's worth, you need to get the monogram. Like, do you see this sick Ivy Park monogram? The first time she did it was with Icy Park. Do you guys remember the brown and the pink with the word Ivy spelled out throughout the entire design? That was the first time that she introduced us to monogram. With a lot of denim items, you can choose the monogram version or just the regular denim version. Obviously, you would get the monogram version because it's unique. I feel like you could just get a denim jacket or a denim shirt from anywhere, but to get the monogram? I don't know, this is something about this design and like, you know that it's Ivy Park when you see it. So instead of having actual buttons that go through, you just snap it. You have a collar with the three Adidas stripes on both sides. And on the back, she actually gave you this string that you can tie around the collar and give you that real Southern feel, that Southern vibe. You have two pockets, one on this side and then one on this side. I could write an essay on why this entire denim collection just eats down. MLA format, 10 pages, front and back. And I was kind of scared, because Ivy Park sizing is scary. Like, you think you gonna get one size, but it's really gonna be another size. I've kind of learned to adjust, but thinking like, this is denim, denim fits differently. Denim is usually smaller, runs smaller. Especially considering she opted for like, denim that isn't stretchy. Like, you can go on Fashion Nova and find denim that's stretchy, so it fits more sizes, more curves, but like, this is like, thick fit denim, which is real throwback. Like I feel, I feel like she like decided to go real throwback with it. It's not too heavy, because I know denim can sometimes just feel like real heavy and weighted on your body. I don't think Adidas has ever done a denim collection before. So the fact that Beyonce is bringing this out of them, bringing new stuff in 2021. Let me button this up, so I can see what it looks like completely buttoned. It's oversized, but I like it. Like it's not oversized to where like, I feel like it's just too big. This is what it looks like buttoned up. I like this. The next item that I'm gonna show you guys and pair with this shirt are the Ivy Park Monogram Denim Shorts. It's the same style, the same trend. You got the monogram, obviously. You got the Adidas line over here. You also got it over here. On the button, it says Ivy Park. And it says it on each button, like every single button. It says Ivy Park. I love the detailing. I feel like details in this brand in general is just like always top tier, top notch. Two pockets. On the front you have these really sleek looking side pockets here. They're parallel to the Adidas stripe. Instead of like being like slanted, they go down more, which I really like. All right, now I got these in a size 38. So they fit me perfectly. Not too loose where I feel like they're baggy. They're not too tight to where I feel like I'm being constricted and I can't move. Like I can move a little bit. I can pull it over my stomach, like over my belly to where it's high waisted, or I can pull it down and it still looks fine. Like, I don't know, when it comes to like my bottoms, I want them to be on the more fit side. Like the oversized up here works, but I need these to be fit like how they are down here. Like I wouldn't want these to be super big and baggy. I'm actually, tuck this shirt in to give y'all real yeet. 
he got real heat. So this is what it looks like tucked in. I kind of like this. Like this is real, like a real specific outfit that I got a plan to wear this somewhere. Like I don't know if I could just wear this a night on the town. Also, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Don't be talking about my ashy knees. I don't need y'all doing all that. Be nice. Be nice. Treat me right. I should have bought that cowboy hat that she had on her website. Also really like the shape that this gives me like this is tighter down here especially now that this shirt is tucked in it's creating less room down here so it looks tighter while this is still like kind of loose so it's like I like the contrast between the two so I got a second pair of bottoms in the denim just I, I really feel like I could miss out on this denim the pattern is so unique so I also got the Ivy Park denim monogram pants like again she made these in two ways, one with the monogram and then one just regular denim obviously I opted for the monogram because I wanted it you know the uniqueness of it all. Of course, you got the monogram thing going on. I feel like I don't gotta say the word monogram no more. Like, y'all know what's going on. On this side, you have this zipper, which is very sleek looking. Like, it kind of blends in with the pattern of the pants. This triangle, it, it's very symmetrical, and it fits in with all the triangles that you see, triangles and the diamonds throughout the pants. You have the three stripes going down the side. It actually starts right here, not up at the very top. Then on this side, you don't have it up here at all once you go halfway down you see it kind of on the back so i love that asymmetrical thing going on they do have a bit of stretch to them right here on this side like in the back you have this pocket it's real discreet like it's a real weird area especially considering you have this regular butt pocket right here this is the pocket and then this is just like a little hoop little latch you can put something on there add some customization i want y'all to see the back and how it's different See how this side has lines and it has the Adidas starting at a lower side than this? Getting these on was actually kind of difficult. Now that they're on my waist, on my hips, they're fine. But getting them like past my thighs and the cheeks, like it was very difficult. Like I had to do the... Um, shut up. What was that? Like method. Like, that was the only struggle. They're not tight around my thigh. Like I got room still. They're not tight down here. So the fact that they aren't tight anywhere else makes me feel good that I got the right size. If I had gotten a size bigger, it would have been easier to put on, but it would have been baggier. Like I like the fact that they're not baggy. I like the fact that they kind of hug me. I want to show you guys the final piece of this Ivy Park Rodeo collection. We have the Ivy Park Monogram Denim Jacket. Once again, you could get this without monogram. I feel like these outer layer jackets always have like the best customization simply because of this one thing. Before we get into that, I just want to show you all the detailing. You have the three Adidas stripes going down the sleeves on both sides. You have one, two, three four pockets four little babies on the back you have the stitching in three do you see how she made three different stitching lines i feel like that was like a little play on the adidas that was kind of cool that was kind of cool and then down here you have this belt looking layer it's not really a belt but it's it's to hide the part that's detachable it makes it kind of seamless. Actually, instead of snaps, these are actual buttons. So when I'm buying stuff on Ivy Park, my decision is usually, should I buy this in a large or an extra large? Like I've realized that that's my range when it comes to Ivy Park. And I got this in just a regular large and I still feel like it's oversized, but it's perfect oversized. I feel like my jackets in the previous collections looked big and bulky, but I could get away with it. Like it didn't make me look crazy, but this is actually like, fitted oversized like it looks nice to me oh oh my god i just put my hands in two more pockets that i didn't even realize were there you have a pocket on this side in front of this pouch then a pocket on this side in front of this pouch so there's six pockets on this thing in total the cropping part is actually snaps and not buttons unlike the rest of the jacket oh, i don't want to take it off all the way you can see it pretty much from here little cape so stylish fits nicely not too big, not too small. Like I feel like this is one of the best sizing decisions that I've made. Everything fit really well and I'm really pleased. Did I even show y'all what this look like buttoned up? See, I'll be so ready to get out of here because I'll be standing for such a long time. But like, hold on, I didn't show y'all the rest. Let me look like, let me act like I'm in a magazine shoot. People love doing this. What was that? 
That's her favorite pose. And okay, Jane. I just got done doing my Ivy Park Rodeo haul. I hope y'all enjoyed every second, every moment of it. If you did, you gotta give me that thumbs up because seeing y'all enjoy my videos makes me wanna do more videos. And it makes me excited for the next drop. Comment down below what you liked about the outfits or you didn't like, which ones you liked better. Go ahead and give me a ranking of your favorite to least favorite. Make sure you subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, you need to give me that subscription. Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! You just hit 14K. I'm trying to get to 20K. I might do a giveaway at 20K. Who knows? Y'all know I love giving away stuff, but y'all gotta help me get there to give away. So like this video, comment, subscribe, and then take it a step further and click the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna head out because it's getting real hot with these lights all on me. Beyonce, keep doing your thing. I know this next one is gonna be it's gonna be fire too. Like you just gonna keep coming with the heat. But work on the music too. We want some music too. We want heat, like 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 fashion heat, but we also want like auditory heat. Like we wanna hear something from you. We wanna hear something. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Bitches put one thing all wrong and think that they avant-garde. Look at this. Look how avant-garde I am. I'm real avant-garde. Look how avant-garde I am. My jacket ain't all right. This make me real avant-garde, huh? Yeah, I'm real avant-garde. Good job, B. <laughs>